Hey, so here we are again. Only Friends episode 10. New character unlocked. Boeing made his debut. He's kind of giving. I like him because he's adding a little bit more spice to the mess. But of course, at the same time, I don't like him because, girl, why are you trying to get with the whole freak group? Boeing is top and sans X. And in this episode, Boeing tried to get try to get back with top and try to try to get with Mew. Which girl Okay. It's giving he wants to hurt Top because Top broke up with him after three months. But I wonder if he did something shady like sleep with one of Top's friends or something and that's why Top broke up with him and can't make it past three months with anyone because Boeing has scarred him. Because the fact that he tried to get with Mew and then he was like, oh, don't you want to get revenge on Top for sleeping with your friend? Kissed him just to run it back and tell Top that they kissed. Like, girl, he only tried to get with Mew to get at top because the satisfaction that he took in telling top that him and Mew kissed clearly Boeing is out here to hurt top for some reason and then in the next episode Mans is gonna try to get back with sand like sir not to say that I'm over actually guess I am top and Mew's situation I'm just I don't know how much more they can do. Low key, they could have kept it going with the whole Boston and Top situation because that was actually more interesting. And I just feel like we let that go too soon. It's not even the whole situation that I'm over. I'm over Mew because at this point, like girl, we already know that you're gonna take Top back. So I'm not understanding why you're still trying to play all these games and you, you got us jumping through hoops you're gonna get back with him if they don't they don't i will be very surprised bitch why did i just put powder on my face omg and top clearly knows that boeing is up to something and i'm glad that top is flat out asking like boeing and in the next episode he asked me like girl what's tea so i feel like that's a lot of this friend group's problem they don't never just ask stuff out ask stuff out ask stuff straight out ask stuff straight up ask they're not direct <laughs> i think it's very interesting that they how they mirrored like was it the first episode at the the trivia night thing when they had top come in all smart answering all the questions and they did the same thing with boeing in this episode we we love the details boeing is spicing up the top new storyline because it was getting a little dry now with nick and boston I still think that Nick is using Dan to get with Boston. Dan still gives me off vibes. He still gives me creepy weirdo vibes because, sir, you were a little too quick to jump on your employee. At this moment, Boston doesn't really have anyone because of Adam. And I knew Adam was going to do something shady. So he told Chum that Boston tricked him. Which low-key, like I get it, that's your brother. And obviously, if you're close with your siblings, like obviously you're going to believe your sibling over anybody. But low-key, Boston this entire time hasn't lied about anything like if you ask him something he's very straightforward and straight up about it so to me when they all went uh to jump him basically because why did they roll up like that when he like didn't hesitate and was like here's the pictures they're not nude like he asked me to do xyz so we did xyz one thing we have not seen Boston do is lie. Well, he he twisted some things with the whole Mew and Ray situation just so he could sleep with 
top. So I mean, he low key did kind of trick somebody. He's been straightforward. Every single time he's confronted with something, he has no problem like telling the truth and being like, yeah, I did that. And what about it? I feel like Chum knows that Boston is telling the truth, but obviously you don't want to believe that your brother or your sibling is lying to you about something like that. Ray seemed like very concerned and kind of like confused in that moment. And then Boston going to the phone store, like let's be for real, you went there with the hopes that you could get him back, girl, and making him his scream saver? okay that was a nice picture but also i feel like not to say that boston is using nick's insecurities against him but nick has let us know that he is very insecure about his body and just the way that he looks in general because he used to get bullied i'm not saying that boston was using that against him but boston knew what having him as his lock screen was gonna do for nick like the more that i like rewatch the episode and rewatch clips i'm like okay they did kind of open up to each other more so nicholas i guess actually no because girl he was still dogging you the hell out but I mean, I guess I could see like why Nick would be like all in for Boston when you think about like his past and someone like Boston being interested in him. Like I'm sure he never thought would happen. Boston was always telling Nick exactly what he wanted to hear. And Boston isn't the worst human being ever he just made some questionable choices but he was always honest so there was never to be any confusion so for the host that was confused girl that sound like a you problem i'm not surprised that nick and boston found their way back to each other when nick started getting with dirty dan girl i knew that the way that they got back to each other on the rooftop I mean, that was a cute little moment or whatever. I think it's the first. Well, I guess technically it's like, I guess it's technically the second time we've seen Boston be like, I guess more vulnerable and emotional. I think the only times we've seen Boston be like vulnerable and emotional has been with Nick. I feel like Dirty Dan is not going to let Nick go too easily. Also in the preview for the next episode, we see Boston telling Nick that he is eventually going to move to New York with his mom and that's why he's never wanted like it to be in a committed relationship. You know, Nick is very understanding of that and then Boston, huh, Boston mm, I might be able to make an exception. Girl! Boston, I do believe that you need to go to New York. He needs to start fresh somewhere else. Girl, you can take Nick with you if you want to, but... Low key, get away from these funky ass friends because they are not. And then we have Ray and Sand. Now, these two are always a mess. We finally find out what Ray's father asked of Sand. And I think most of us guessed it. And he asked Sand to help Ray get clean, get into rehab. We see Ray finding out about everything when Sand goes to return the money. And it kind of sucked because Ray was literally like trying to throw away the alcohol. And then he went and saw that. Nobody ever stays to hear the whole entire conversation. So they get into a very heated um, argument. Tears were shed. That was a really good scene. I did see like an interview. Well, I saw clips of an interview where I think it was first saying Cow Tongue like outdid himself with the acting. Because um, in Moonlight Chicken, there's a scene. Oh, mom dies. They didn't have to kill her. I'll make some videos on Moonlight Chicken because I love Moonlight Chicken, okay? And when I tell you Cow Tongue did his big one, had me in tears. He ate that up. I'm wondering when that's going to happen because if they were talking about this episode, 
while he did eat down in both scenes where he was being very emotional and broke down, it did not come close to the breakdown in Moonlight Chicken. You know, basically their whole relationship had been a lie paid for by his father. So anybody would be like super distraught. At this point, let's be for real. Girl Ray is in love too because that therapy scene. I don't like that Ray is always going for the low blow in these types of situations. Cause saying my guy would do anything for money. You ain't you ain't even have to say all that, Raymond. But he made a good point when he was like, oh, you want me to like be clean so bad, but you quite literally sell alcohol. Which valid point. You got jars of alcohol just chilling out in the open. Of course, I think their little fallout will be very short lived. But a lot of people on TikTok seem to think that someone is going to die. But they don't know if it's going to be like a parent or like someone in the friend group. I don't think it's going to be anybody in the friend group. But I feel like it's going to be either San's mom or Ray's dad. I feel like it's either going to be San's mom because she's sick or it's going to be Ray's dad because why not the more that i like watch and see ray and sand the more i'm like okay you know what low key they could work if ray is like dead serious about rehab and really getting his anger issues under control getting some mental clarity low key they could work i mean low key all the couples could work if if they went to therapy and worked through their issues um Chum. I still don't know how I feel about her. I still don't like her, but I don't dislike her either. I also feel like if you know what type of person your best friend is, and you're very aware that like he would never lie, especially about something like this, ma'am, you need to check your brother. I mean, check Boston too, because he should have never even entertained the idea of sleeping with your brother, because it's literally your little brother. They both need to be checked, because what they did was very much a no-no. Oh, no, 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 no. The scene where Ray and Sand go to the little, the little uh, lounge, jazz club, whatever, because Ray was like, oh, if you tell your dad you're his son, then I'll go to rehab. First of all, that whole scene, it was giving very much question mark. Just to be like, hello, stranger. I'm your child. In the middle of a bar. It's not that I'm questioning if that's really his dad or not, but low key I am like, is that really your dad? But also, I don't know if I should think of it as like, oh my gosh, like he loves and cares about Ray so much that he was just ready and willing to just be like, hey stranger, I'm your son. Low key, I am glad that Ray stopped him from doing that because I feel like that was not the time or the place. Okay, I think those are my thoughts on this episode, I think. Let me know if you think I missed anything. We can chat it up down in the comments because I like to see the other opinions and theories about the show and stuff that I may have missed. So this is this is the look. I'm giving pink today. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!